Welcome back to another Transformers New vs. Old. Yes, I know it's another Transformers one, but hey, people seem to love this, and I actually really like making these. So hey, another Transformers New vs. Old, this time taking a look at the old generations Reveal the Shield Solar Storm Grapel compared to uh, Earthrise Grapple. Uh, so no solar storms are happening. There's no grappelling. We are back to Grapple. G1 Autobot Grapple. And I am very happy that we have a new Grapple because I felt like the defining character trait of Grapple and Inferno was the big old block around their head. And this mold didn't have it. And I just, every time I saw them, I didn't feel like it was Grapple or Inferno. It always felt incomplete to me. So I'm very happy we're finally getting a more character appearance complete version of Grapple and very likely Inferno. Um, however, what I do in this series, I often look at the toy. Not just the character interpretation, but also the toy. Is this toy a bad toy? Not at all. <laughs> this is a great toy. And I'm going to keep a version of this toy, but not this exact toy. But this right here is the better version of the character as well as being a very nice toy but is it nicer than this i don't know that's what we're here to find out anyways yep let's look at solar storm grapel <laughs> so yes uh you can't really get the rights to a name like grapple so instead of calling him autobot grapple they called him solar storm grapel and a uh, very odd name not a big fan of that name uh, very goofy name, but hey, that's what they called him. Anyways, let's look at him. He does, he's very boxy. I mean, there's some aspects of him that are very faithful to the whole Inferno grapple look. He has the entire truck cab as his body. That's there. Um, but other than that, uh, he's not really faithful at all. Uh, his arms have a lot of panels, and they have these back flaps, which you could either have them as back flaps, or you can make them look like a freaking Zaku 2, dude. Give them, give them some Zaku 2 shoulder shields, um, which is interesting. I mean, you could make them look like that, but I, I don't know. I'm just... I kind of like it on other versions of this figure, but not really on Grappel here. Yes, I'm going to keep calling him Grappel, because I don't care. Um, he has the, the crane on his arm like a weapon and that's kind of neat but at the same time it really gets in the way like I, I see the appeal of having this as the weapon because you can extend it you can make him just smack Decepticons with it <laughs> but it's in the way because it's on the back of his arm and you have this these series is these series is of hinges and swivels to kind of get it oriented how you want um, he is actually a retool of Inferno. They did change some things up. They changed up the forearms completely. So this panel can no longer rotate, and the hand is no longer a fist. It's just kind of shaped like that, so he can't even hold anything else. So he is stuck without any weapon of any sort, and he does not have any non-hand. He has normal hands all around. Because, see, Grapple, he always had, like, a, a, like a specialized, pokey, stabby laser hand. Um, but this doesn't have it at all, so it's kind of disappointing. So, um, articulation's pretty good on it. Um, he has a ball jointed at the head, which is actually mostly just a swivel, but it has a little bit of give. Just a little bit. I love that light piping, oh my gosh. Getting rid of light piping is one of the worst things Modern Transformers has ever done. His universal joints, very ratchety shoulders. Um, you know, he's got elbows, nothing at the wrist, uh, nothing at the waist. But he does have, oddly enough, look at the configuration of the legs. He has like this hinge that goes like this. It's on a swivel and a hinge like that. Isn't that interesting? You usually don't see that. Uh, very deep, uh, gappy knee bend. Um, he has a boot swivel. And believe it or not, he actually has a little bit of an ankle tilt. It's actually really interesting. A little bit of an ankle tilt and a little bit of a toe bend. So articulation-wise, he's actually pretty legit. Um, but... It's a really good toy, right? But I feel like the grapple components are not here. That's my problem with this. It doesn't feel like a grapple. 
It just feels like orange fire truck robot, <laughs> you know? And yes, I know the black head's more based off the toy and the orange head's more like the cartoon, but I like the orange head better. And that's where Earthrise, in my opinion, is just the better grapple. So Earthrise grapple, is he a good toy? Yes, he is a very good toy. Uh, does he feel like grapple? Yes, I feel like I finally have a grapple that feels like grapple. Um, I love this helmet. I love the head block. It stays in place. I don't feel like it's going anywhere. It clips in really well. And the head, too, it's the nice orange. I mean, will they make a black version eventually? I mean, they might, but I prefer the orange. Um, he has the shoulder things. He has the nice, you know, he still has the whole cab of the truck on the chest, and I really like that. But look, he has, like, the more accurate legs with the wheels down there. It just feels so nice, but he has this claw instead of the uh, the little nozzle thing. And honestly, you know what? I prefer this claw. Because, uh, <laughs> see, the nozzle thing, I feel like... That was a really weird chipmunk laugh. I'm sorry about that. The Inferno will probably have the nozzle. But I like this claw with a character called Grapple. I kind of dig that. I think it looks cool. I like it. I think it's neat. Uh, it does have this little clip at the end. Um, honestly, can't tell you what that's for. I, I really can't tell you what that's for. I can't tell you what that clips into. Does it clip into the gun at all? It might just clip into the gun, maybe? Like that? No? Because that's usually not a standard connection system. I'm not sure. Hmm, I might have to look and do some research on that. Oh my gosh, me doing research before video. That's crazy. Yeah, I can just plug into the port on the hand. But if you want, you can give him a hand. So that's nice if you want him to have a proper hand. Uh, I don't think it has a swivel on it, but you know what? That's all right. Uh, I, I like that option. But me personally, I like the grapple thingy. So he gets that. Um, so yeah, as you can see, he looks the part. He has the crane on his back like he should. It's kind of dangling off his arm. He looks like grapple. I like it. Uh, articulation is really good. Unfortunately, he only has a swivel at the head, and that's proven with that mushroom peg there. But given the shape, I don't really mind it. Uh, he has these really nice universal joints at the shoulders there. Look at that. I love how it fills that out. Uh, kind of swivel and elbow bend. Nothing at the wrist. He has a waist joint this time around, which I appreciate. Uh, he has really, really nice hips. I cannot emphasize how nice these hips are. They move forward. They move all the way out. They can move all the way back, too, if you're bothered about that. But... Legs don't move like this. I'm sorry to break your hearts and imaginations, but legs don't move back like that. When will you ever need this point of articulation? I mean, I just, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Like, use the knees if you need to do that, because that's what actual people look like. Uh, yeah, anyways, swivel at the thigh. Nice 90 degree hinge at the knee, not gappy like the old one. And these ankles, oh my gosh. This is like Combiner Wars Brawl level of amazing ankle joint. It can move forward, like all the way. It can move down. It can move, look, look at this tilt. This is like, this is like premium leg articulation. Look at this. Look at this. How many Transformers can get their legs looking like that? That is remarkable. Makes me wish you had a ball joint at the head so you'd look a little more expressive. But look at that, man. That is that is pose that is posability right there. Can the old one? Oh, I knocked into it. Can the old one get into a pose like that? I mean, he has this panel here, and then you can see you can kind of approximate it, but not as crazily as that. Uh, so yeah, posability wise, look wise, almost in every way wise, I think this is a really good figure. Is it better? It's different. It's different. I don't think it's better. But when it comes to portraying the character of Grapple, I think Earthrise is way better. So, let us transform Solar Storm Grapel. Uh, so one thing I actually need to show, I need to show a reverse transformation step. So you get that folded up, and then when you transform it into robot mode, you push this forward, then boop. It's kind of neat. Yeah, put that down, get this panel. I mean, we've, we've seen this figure for a while now. I, I really like it, though. I like how these wheels fold. Uh, I, I like how these those tuck away. One of the harder elements, though, are these panels. Uh, he's very panel-y. He's very panel-heavy. And you can actually, with the transformation, either turn the thigh or the shin. I personally like turning the entire thigh, but you can actually do whichever one you want, which is interesting. 
yeah, you just get the feet folded in there, kind of get that aligned, get that tab together. I mean, he's pretty basic. There's not too much going on, but I appreciate simplicity from time to time. One thing you definitely need to make sure of, though, you need to make sure when you're putting these forward that these tabs right here are going to connect, because otherwise you are in for a treat. And you also want to get these all these little panels on the Zaku sh shields folded out. And then you just kind of get that. Then you just kind of tab it all in. And this toy is so great. It's such a great toy. I'm not going to miss this, though, because I have the GDO Hotspot. And I think that is the best version of this mold out of the three. So we're left with a very, very nice fire truck. <laughs> very nice fire truck. Uh, besides the fist just right there, you can hardly tell it transformed into a robot. Um, it looks great. I love all the little different colors of the lights right there. I love the sirens up top. I love the crane that can extend and the little hinge right there. I like all the articulation points it's on so it can actually move around. It can't move up too far though, but that's all right. Uh, I, I like that. It just looks nice, man. I dig it. I like this gray here for like all the little toolbox things, which is probably what those are. Uh, I like the wheels. It rolls pretty nice. It's a good, it's a good toy. It's just not the best version of grapple. Uh, and it is reveal the shield. So you can, you know, reveal the shield while he's an Autobot. I mean, he's Autobot grapple or excuse me, solar storm grapple. So I love this toy. I'm going to keep it as hot spot, but I just don't need, I don't need this. Because uh, it's not as faithful to the character as Earthrise. And I, with my classics collection, I want something that feels faithful to the character. I don't need it to be the most G1 accurate, to be the best, to be the most perfect. I just want it to be faithful to the character, man. And I never felt like the old Inferno and Grapple were always uber faithful to the character. Because they got rid of this big old chunk right here for the head, which I really appreciated. You can see it actually folds away, so that looks nice, and you get that rotated. And then we'll see a little bit more of that later. Yeah, you can see the transformation is kind of similar. You don't do a lot with the legs on this one at all. I'm surprised. But you do get that down, and then you just kind of tab all this in together. If I can figure out what I'm doing wrong, because that should be there. What am I doing wrong? Oh my gosh. I've transformed this guy and I didn't mess it up. You know what I'm doing wrong? I, I'm putting it at the wrong hinge right there. There we go. Alrighty, I have fixed my goof. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. Remember that Courage the Cowardly Dog thing? You're not perfect. Man, I love that show. Creepy as shit, but I love that show. Um, so then we just get the arms back here. Get those tabbed together. Get them tabbed into the legs and finally piece de resistance get the crane properly oriented and extended and there we go there is oh get that tab back in there is earthrise grapple in his truck mode and i'm also very happy with this is it smaller yes it is a lot smaller it is a lot smaller <laughs> but I mean, this guy used a lot of panels to come, to make up his weight, and he didn't use any panels at all. This is his pure body mass. So I appreciate that. You do have the guns left over, because this one actually comes with accessories. So you can put the gun there. You can put the claw. Oh, you know what you can do? They actually put a peg right there at the tip of that. You can put the claw there. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, my gosh. I love that feature. And then I still don't know what you can use that for, but I'm sure you can grab something with it. And this one can also... Oh, wait. Is that is that removable? <gasps> oh, my gosh! Dude! I feel like a complete idiot. I didn't... <laughs> this is what I get for not reading the instructions, for not looking at more pictures. I didn't know he had the nozzle. I didn't know he had the G1 nozzle. People are already probably commenting like, actually, he does come with a nozzle, you complete idiot. So, yeah, um, you have this. Uh, you have that option, but you also have the nozzle. How did I not notice that? I just thought it was detail. I seriously just thought it was detail. Like this. 
Ah, uh, I'm so funny sometimes. Uh, but this one doesn't roll as well, but it still rolls. Um, I, I think the fire truck mode's probably better on the old one, but grapple-wise, man, this is the grapple you want! It has the nozzle! I didn't even know that! I've never seen anyone picturing him with the nozzle. Ever! It's always with this little grapple thing, so I didn't think he came with it. Because, see, I didn't look at any reviews or anything before I got this guy, and I just got this guy, like, a couple days ago. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, that's my life, guys. Uh, I love when you find out things about toys like that. I'm sorry. That was a way more magical moment than just seeing it in the instructions. I'm very happy that that happened. Anyways, final consensus. Toy-wise, the old one is nice. It's a cool, fun, fire truck robot toy. But it doesn't accurately portray the character of Grapple. It doesn't have any of the signature traits besides having the truck cab as the entire chest. Other than that... There's no grappleness going on. He is a different character. He is Solar Storm Grappel. However, Earthrise Grapple, in my opinion, accurately portrays the character. It accurately gives you what you want. And I'm very happy with it. I really have no complaints with Earthrise Grapple. And just because I found that out, I just got to finish this video transformed him into the robot mode. So my consensus is I prefer the new one as Grapple. But I still really like the old one as its own individual toy. So there, oop, so there is my final verdict on old versus new on Grapple. Um, let me know what you think. Do you like the old one still more than the new one? Or do you think the, uh, the new one is superior in every way? Because I don't think it's superior in every way. But I do really like the new one. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think about the selection of grapples here. Uh, let me know what you think about my, not really idiocy, but just ignorance of the uh, having the nozzle. Oh, look at that. Boom! Boom, baby! That grapple! Yes! Yes! And then I can still just store this back here or something. You can have, like, a grapple butt. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks like a thruster. I like that. Um, oh, man. Grapple! My man! Oh, I can't wait for Inferno. <laughs> that's that's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. I love this grapple so much. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to end this video here. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my social media links, PO Box address, and frequently asked questions down in the description below. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you in the next video. I'm sorry I'm the way I am. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Ta-ta!